Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Brief Actually video, and we've got a live stream summary for you guys. So, we have a SLB, unfortunately, SLB Magic Tank, Global Original Character, and this is a completely new character. No more reskins, no more of the stuff we've already seen, you know, made as a 5-star. You know, sometimes that's a nice thing to see, but sometimes it's nice to see, you know, something original. And so, we have a Magic Tank, and also a debuffer and also a buffer so those are all pretty interesting things here so let's move on to the next slide here for abigail and the stmr is definitely bait for people who have chow and you want to just stick with using chow this is a very good uh, staff for him because this will give him a thousand uh, hp and at the bottom there it'll also allow him to have 100 percent hp and 100 percent spirit true shield wield or whatever, whatever it may be. Um, so that's pretty good. And on, on top of that, really only good for the Abigail unit, but the TMR is pretty much best in slot for Abigail because of that bottom ability there, which allows you to get a barrier for for, for herself, restore HP and MP for everybody, and also fill morale gauge per turn, gauge per turn. So if this is restoring HP and MP for all allies every single turn, that's kind of busted. I'm sure it's going to be kind of low because it's a TMR, but that's still kind of busted in my opinion. You just get a free MP every turn. I'm, ass I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going to be very pessimistic and just say this is probably going to be like that first, that, the HP and MP is not for, for every, or not, you know, every turn, but it would be in insane if it was, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I'm being overhyped about it, but we'll have to see when the actual data comes out. But I, th I think that's a pretty good TMR for the, for the Magic Tank. All right, so... The SLB re reduces imperil, has a weapon imperil for literally everything. It looks like at a first glance. I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, it has to be every weapon, and you also get damage reduction against beast, human, and second. Okay, they're really trying to make us pull. They're really trying to make us pull, guys. So, with that being said, uh, that's I don't know why you guys are seeing that. You're not going to notice anything off of that, anyways. The abilities here you have on the EX2 or EX3, depending on what it is. You get a fill morale gauge per turn. You get 500 defense. I'm not assuming this is going to be EX3, but the blind thing is not very useful. Unless it's like for Arena, but even then, it's not that useful because everybody in Arena basically just has status immunity anyway, so I don't understand what the blind thing is. I guess it's kind of useful for some Clash Wheels where you needed to blind them or. Do some kind of unique status effect on them, so I guess that's something. And then we have a uh, Omni cover, but it's on a, a cooldown. At least it's on a cooldown and not on a Grandis ability or a Magnus. And then the other one down there, Film Morale Gauge. Gosh, all allies can evade. You know, so, so stacks of Mirage, two stacks of Mirage, and you get a barrier, and you get something out phase two, whatever that means. I'm assuming it's probably almost the same thing, but a little bit better uh, for the next part. Not the most amazing cooldown, but I guess it's okay. They're upgrading the um, this thing here, the crown thing, so or whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, everybody is using the dancer, so basically the dancer one gives you 50% defense and spirit, and also you get 20% evasion. Did it have that already? I don't know if I had that already. Doesn't look like. I mean, it looks like it had that already, but I never really noticed. <laughs> I just always use it for the 100% uh, targeting chance. And this one's actually quite good. If they allow, if they ever allow us to have two of these, I would definitely get this one next because the 500 MP for Golbez or X-Death would be very nice. Plus 50% MP on top of that. Um, the only problem with this is that it does the MP reduction. Uh, you don't really want that because you want to have more MP to do more damage. So that part is kind of bad, but the 500 MP is quite good. It's all, it's literally comparable to the Dancer Demon in this card, pretty much. Pretty good. Oh, I have it twice, whoops. And here is the login bonus for the 48 million download 2. That's a decent amount of Lapis. You get a guaranteed Neovision. So if you use this, if you get this, and then you wait, depending on when this is going to be, maybe if you wait... Uh, and and then when you get this ticket, you can do you can get two new visions that day if you like to you know get a little bit of a you know um, pull pull itch off. 
You can get two Neovisions that day with the daily ne or that, the weekly Neovision summon, and then you use this ticket to get two Neovisions. So I mean, it's something. Maybe something a little more exciting for you guys. And here is the Clash Wheels boss. I'm literally upset. Okay, I'll try to pronounce it. Salak Salakshimoth. Oh my god. Well, I butchered that. I tried. Aquatic and insect. Oh my god. Aquatic, of course. This is why I hammered into your guys' head. Aquatic killers are extremely hard to build, and they always do something like this because aquatic killers are hard to build. So now you're going to have to fight aquatic and insect. Insect, not as impossible to gear for, but aquatic definitely very much is. And I like the part where this thing is weak to light. So you could use 2B and A2 if you'd like. And also, you could also use Clam. You can also use um, Ayaka. So I kind of like that there are at least the last few Clash Wheels units they are allowing you to actually use the elements. That's actually very surprising. Uh, back in the day, they would never do this. They would always switch elements so you can't use the last uh, Clash, Wheels enemy, uh, Clash Wheels unit. Or at least the last few. And now that you can use several. You can use 2B, A2. You have Clam. You have Ayaka. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we'll have to see what this boss does, and apparently this boss does do increased damage to non-humans. Um, did this even matter? I don't remember if this even mattered. It was kind of annoying, but I, I think we can get past it if we want to use Chow. We'll have to find out. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Abigail. Sadly, no Brave Shift, but that's, a, that's three rolls there. So let's see if they can pull this off. Three rolls. Want to see how good it is? Let's see. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Peace.